What's up, everybody? I'm Jason. This is Freebird Garage. We are back on the FXRT fairing, fixing it up, getting it all ready for paint for the future. Got some repairs. This is going to be the heavier part of the repairs. And I got some good news on what we did last week. Pretty stoked. Can I came out? Let's get to it. So those that didn't catch the last week's video on repairing these vents, they're always cracked up here, around here, around this area. And this is what we did here. We used some ABS cement to get this cleared up. Got a bit of an edge on this one, so we're gonna sand this down today on this here. But over here, bam, look at that, it came out beautiful. I'm gonna hit it with another finer sandpaper, and I think this came out awesome. Super pumped, you can barely see where the crack is, you can't even feel the difference. So we get around painting it with the primer, and the paint should just disappear right away. So super stoked, stuff works awesome. If you're going to ABS plastics, this is what I use, this ABS cement. Get like at a hardware store, Amazon, I mean, for $7. I mean, this stuff does not move. It's been braced back here with the with the paint of the ABS cement. Now, I didn't have an area where I can get more ABS plastic to reinforce it, but that's not going anywhere. So, super stoked on that. Now, we're hitting the left-hand side. Got a little bit of an edge, so we're gonna sand this down, see how it looks. I'm probably gonna have to hit it again just to build up another layer. But overall, super pumped. So if you're wondering how to fix ABS plastics with cracks, highly, highly recommend this stuff right here and get it squared away. All right, so let's get this sanded and see what it looks like. And then we'll get to the other part of this fairing. So the step process that I used on the right-hand side that came out is this little pad kit that you can buy at auto parts stores, hardware stores. This is an 80 grit. We'll go to 120 grit and 220. Really like using these because it gives a perfect grip for your hand in tight spots. And you can get nice and flat without having a big piece of sandpaper or your one finger. And what ends up happening is you'll have highs and lows. So this kind of eliminates that to allow it to go flat right on the plastic and then move around the corner. So if you're trying to do something like this or any type of sanding, highly recommend these. All right, let's get to sanding. So there's our 80 grit, and we were able to knock down that edge beautifully. I mean, that is smooth right over. Can't tell the difference, came out awesome. So now we're gonna hit this 120 right here and get a little bit smooth. So 120 came out great, starting to find this edge a lot better. Feels real smooth. Now we're gonna hit it with the 220. all smoothed out back to factory well not yet of course got a paint and all that but super stoked on how both these came out thought this was gonna be a bit more of a challenge on trying to get this to blend but this ABS plastic is real workable and when it comes to sanding and making sure you still have that original curve on these plastics here and make sure that it still looks factory after we get it shot with paint and everything and when you're sanding you want to go in like a hatch cross hatching pattern the best you can and in areas I just can't do that all the way so if you see why I'm doing this or this that's why I was doing it trying to keep a nice hatch pattern across the, the plastic so super stoked all right let's get to the sides and get these worked on stepping into some new territory on this ABS plastic for myself here uh, going with this 3m repair sandable this is what I found the body guys out there in professional shops like to use on automotive bumpers uh, like to build up the divots rather than just trying to use like a bondo this is more of a permanent fix this stuff is not cheap this is the cheapest portion of what i have in front of me here and this is the rotary kit we're going to use to clean out the plastic so we got that 10 bucks i have an air one a pneumatic one but i want to be able to kind of really get in the finer spots and the other one's bigger so let's pull all this out check it out we have the rotary itself here, nice and small, hand fit. And we have a whole kit of different fittings there, different types of tools that we can use, sandpaper, drills, all that for 10 bucks gives you a carrying case. And I'm assuming that's, just, yep, this is just the other piece of the charging device for the grinder there. So that's that. That's what we're gonna need to get into the plastics. And then we have our 
building of the plastic material. I don't really want to call this stuff. Uh, this is an Easy Sand multi purpose repair. You guys can see that. I'm pull it out. There we go. This is a 05887. There's a bunch of different ones that 3M makes that look just like this. And I found that the body guys I've talked to said this is the one you want to go with for using against plastics, ABS. This is going to make it back to factory rather than just kind of doing a rollover of some type of bondo and then you know having that chip away. We don't want to do that, so this is, should be something that we'll be able to get into and make it sandable and long lasting. And then we have our adhesion promoter and then our gun that we got here to squeeze out the material. Open this up. When I was picking this stuff out, this is like a knockoff version of the 3M. They highly recommend that you get this type of gun to use with it because it is not fun to try to squeeze it out yourself. You just can't. You have to make sure that the material comes out perfectly even for it to mix well. So this is that gun that's gonna fix it. It's pretty heavy, so I didn't think it was gonna be that heavy. So there we are, your gun there our multi-purpose repair materials, what 3M calls it, and then our adhesion. All right, let's get on the fairing. Let's check it out. So this is the worst side of the fairing that we gotta clean up. Hit it with the grinder, see how it comes out. All right, that should be good there. All right, this tool's pretty wild. You have to use this applicator and it mixes it perfectly when it goes through. There you guys can see that right there. Look at that. It's wild, it perfectly mixes the two components together so you don't have to do that. And then we're pretty much ready to go. Got all the steps in the manual too of how to sand it afterwards, which is pretty nice for 3M to do that. So you know exactly where you need to be for the type of grit. All right, so let's try and do our first bead and Hope for the best. All right, see how that does. Smooth it out. Trying to build a nice thick layer so I have plenty to sand through and even it out. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit it just a little bit more just to make sure. Came out pretty good. Got about a 15 minute cure time on that. We'll hop to the other side and start working on that. Okay, so here's our right side. Not that bad, just a little bit, but we wanna make sure that it's all taken care of. So let's clean it up. <laughs> Takes about 10 minutes to dry. We'll see you guys in a minute. It's made a small mistake. Should've got this side ready with the other side because then the applicator essentially froze up for the wait time. Now I had to use the second one to be able to fish this side here. So don't do that in the future. All right, smooth this out. Hit a little bit more. All 
Uh, we wait 15 minutes and let it sit up. 15 minutes is up and it feels wild. It's like a glossy, cement, smooth glass feel to it. I was actually expecting something more like an RTV feeling for some reason, but not a big deal. But it does say in the directions to hit this with 180 and then like a 320. I think that might be a little too light what 3M is suggesting. So we'll try it off. I got 80 in this kit that I have here. See what it does. All right, so I'm gonna try to do the hatching style, get it kind of worn down and then we'll start to shape it. I'm hoping, so see how it does. First round of sanding and this stuff is wild. It feels like it's just part of the fairing, like it molded right to it and doesn't feel any difference between this side and this side of sanding. Pretty impressed by this stuff. I mean, it's definitely worth what's the cost of it. So let's keep going at it, see if we get a better look. I'm gonna hit you guys with a finished product, but I want this to cure for the full time. It's a four hour full process on this cure for this stuff. You can sand it in 15, but I just wanna make sure it's fully there so when we get down to lower layers, it's sealed, cured, and good to go. So we'll go on the next run, we'll get this thing feathered out, clean it up, but overall super stoked how all this is rolling through and buying the right products and not going cheap is a huge must with this ABS stuff, I'm sure with any body work, but anyways, that about wraps me in this one, guys. I would greatly appreciate it. If you could hit that subscribe button, tap that like, press the notification, leave a comment below, and tell me what you think. And for those who aren't subscribed, thank you. As always, stay free. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.